Hey everybody, uh, it's Todd from the Bueller Bunch. Um, where have we been? Well, lots of stuff has gone on since we last were with you. One of the things that was the biggest thing is both Kristen and I had health, a little bit of health scares. I went through three, not one, but two, but three operations, all for a kidney stone issue. And you don't want to get me started with kidney stones. But instead of us talking about our woes, this is what's in today's episode, and that is to get our our RV cover off. It's been on there all winter. California's had crazy winters. I mean crazy winters. Flooding atmospheric rivers. But it's also an atmospheric river. Because what looks like an atmospheric river. From this latest atmospheric river. Yeah, that's right, atmospheric rivers. It's been nuts as far as weather goes. We haven't seen this kind of weather in California for years. And all of a sudden now we've got water and we've got more water and even more water. So we're gonna be good for a few years, at least drought wise and fire wise, which is the big thing nowadays in California. Let's get to it. We're gonna get this cover off and see See what's underneath. Come on. <laughs> One of the fun things when I pulled up, you know, our, our trailer here is uh, is at a, a horse farm. But one of the things the proprietor of this property did was, well, you know, he, he's got horses and he's got chickens and he's got he's got live feed. So he caught this little critter. And uh, well, you know, it reminds me, if you've got critters, you got to protect your trailer too. This was the, one of the things that we did with ours was, was cover it over the holidays and over this rainy season. We did and do that the year before we've done it now so i'm really going to kind of compare my observations we didn't do a video of it uh, on the previous years but it did weather you know the, the winter storms here in california this cover weathered the worst storms that california has seen in in many many years so uh let's go take a look one of the first things i see is one of my tennis balls that i put up over the gutters to protect it uh looks like failed so hole in the cover on the top there and let's see how the other ones have done so this one here on the back that one stayed in place so that's pretty darn good well, you can see this tennis ball stayed in place so that was good but apparently the other one didn't all of our straps they're working pretty darn well the cover looks really well um, supported and this one here, that one didn't do anything. It does look like the cover has moved over a little bit because if you see the differences in the top there and the sides there, these are the sides, that is the top. So it did, it did looks like it shifted a little bit. Um, these straps here are to protect it and uh, it, when the winds really get blowing so this thing doesn't billow up over everything. But it does look like we've, we've occurred some damage um, to the cover. So that's over a pretty nasty season. But other than that, so far, and I haven't been up on the roof yet, so far it does look like our cover has pretty much performed the way it should have done. Actually had figured was next time I do it, I was gonna back the truck up to here, uh -huh. unload into the bed of the truck. Right because this thing just lays and gets it picks up everything oh i'm assuming so but it's pretty dry it does look like i had got some damage on it well that was uh that was ken he's the proprietor of this horse ranch um he was telling me because he i convinced him to buy to buy one for his trailer um, but he was giving me his uh, train of thought on what I should do. He was saying that when he takes it off, um, he has he had a little problem because it, it's fairly on the heavy side. The heaviness, I guess, of it is, makes it extremely awkward. One of the things I forgot, I forgot. Um, yeah, I forget a lot of stuff. I forgot my ladder, my expandable ladder. So I'm going to have to play it by ear and maybe use Ken's ladder. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on strapping this thing and then see where we go from there. Another strap down here. Oh, okay. You know, one of the things I learned, when you got a cover on, and if you've got a solar panel, your solar panel's not gonna work, people. So be prepared for the solar panel not working for you because it's on the roof and it's been covered up. So yeah, that's one of the things you just maybe not think about. So we're up here on the roof and uh, so far everything looks good. I don't see any major rips or holes in the cover. So it survived that. 
Now we'll look at the roof to take a look to see how it fared. Um, all I can tell you is it's a nice warm day today and boy, it sure is warm under this cover. Getting on top of your roof, be very mindful of all the rocks and stuff on the bottom of your tennis shoes or shoes. Some people go barefooted, some people go with their socks on, but yeah, when you've got rocks in your shoes, it'll tear right through the top of your roof. So be real careful about uh, you know walking around on your roof after you've been walking around in like a gravel area. <laughs> bugs and spiders, there's a lot of bugs and spiders. So the seals look pretty good. Um, the roof, surprisingly, looks still like it did when I covered it up, pretty brand new. One of the things I noticed was that the cover, I guess, since it's moving around, does rub on the Dicor on the roof. So you gotta be, you know, pretty good about inspecting the Dicor and all the seals because it's got something rubbing on top of it. And when it rubs on top of it, all it's gonna do is just wear things thin. You can see here that it kind of wore through. You can see the black. So it's gonna, it's gonna require a little Dicor. But in reality, it didn't wear through it. It just wore it thin. So just, <laughs> Just be careful and look at your seals and everything that your thing had been touched because boy, it's gonna rub up against things. It's gonna even, you know, even even the, the cap for a front is black. So it may rub on that, you know, kind of, uh, you know, unbuffing it, taking wax off and or even going through the paint. But in our case, nah, it didn't do anything like that. Yeah, a lot of little bugs, you know, like mosquito eaters and ladybugs and, spiders that's all it's uh that i'm seeing on the roof that may have gotten in underneath you know through one of the vents or something but overall this did pretty good you know but the good part about having a cover on is that you get to inspect your roof so yeah it gives you the the opportunity to get up on your roof and inspect it as well just for the beginning of your season look at your trailer very carefully if you even want to take pictures of it before compare it to the pictures that you do after so if you notice a big change with your roof yeah that's when you would be able to compare the previous photos to the current photos and then you can see things that may have, or may have uh, worn through or um, been problematic or you know that, that just came to light you know because like i said that cover is rubbing on stuff so it's rubbing on your ac covers it's rubbing on your on your vent covers it's running on your uh your skylights all that stuff so it could you know potentially kind of damage it but um for a majority of our first year ever having a cover this did pretty good and if you know if you want to see our cover video that we did initially i'll link that let's see it would yeah i'll link it yeah i'll link it up here and uh, you know, look, take a look at that. See how we did. It, uh, you know, it gives you the, it'll give you the brand of the cover. It will do everything that you can um, to take a look at it and how we put it on. Taking it off was pretty easy. Just unbuckled it. I came up from the ladder end and I unrolled it uh, on the roof, and then just kind of threw it over the cap. And then from there, I'll I'll put it away. So it should be pretty easy. It was easy putting it on. It took me what 20 minutes to put it on. It took me like less time to even take it off. So uh, I'm good, I'm good with the, with our cover. I've never used our RV ladder and I'm kind of leery about using it, but I'm using it. It's not too bad, it's just straight up and down. And boy, you know, one thing they don't tell you, when these things heat up, they're hot, especially black ladders. Okay, I hope I won't fall.